We are all in a spiritual battle, whether we like it or not. Today I want to remind you of two stories in the Old Testament and their methods to defeat the enemy. In Joshua 6 we read, Then the Lord said to Joshua, See, I have delivered Jericho into your hands, along with its king and its fighting men. March around the city once with all the armed men. Do this for six days. Have seven priests carry trumpets of ram's horns in front of the ark. On the seventh day, march around the city seven times with the priests blowing the trumpets. When you hear them sound a long blast on the trumpets, have the whole army give a loud shout, then the wall of the city will collapse and the army will go up and everyone straight in. Note the Lord said, See, I have delivered Jericho into your hands before the event even happened. The second story is in 2 Chronicles 20, 15 and it says, Listen, King Jehoshaphat, and all who live in Judah and Jerusalem, this is what the Lord says to you. Do not be afraid or discouraged because of this vast army, for the battle is not yours but God's. Tomorrow, march down against them. They will be climbing up by the pass of Ziv, and you will find them at the end of the gorge in the desert of Jerul. You will not have to fight this battle. Take up your positions, stand firm, and see the deliverance the Lord will give you, Judah and Jerusalem. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Go out to face them tomorrow and the Lord will be with you. Then in verse 21 it says, Je Jehoshaphat appointed men to sing to the Lord and to praise him for the splendour of his holiness as they went out at the head of the army, singing, Give thanks to the Lord for his love endures forever. As they began to sing and praise, the Lord set ambushes against the men of Ammon and Moab and Mount Seir who were invading Judah and they were defeated. So how do we fight our battles? We thank and we praise God. Despite how we feel, we raise up a shout and give him glory because the battle belongs to the Lord. Our job is to believe and thank him that he is not only with us, but he has gone before us. 